So in the last video, we saw the injector board and we learned how we use that to inject the stocks A and B and dilute those. We also saw how we inject acid to adjust pH. We saw how we had two different lines then that came out to the crop in order to deliver that prepared fertilizer solution to the crop. And here we have the two lines that are coming out. The uh, line mark here that avoided acid you have capped off, correct? That's right. That's shut off for now. And then you've got the one that had fertilizer and acid That's running here. One. That's this one right here. Well, I see you have different solenoids and, and quite a bit of plumbing here also. Can you kind of follow us through here, what everything is doing and kind of where the fertilizer solution is going? Okay, we have the line coming in. We have a master valve that just turns on when any of the valves are called to turn on. And then we have individual valves for what are our different treatments. And we have three lines because we have effectively three different treatments out in the crop. And so when the irrigation controller uh, calls for the irrigation to happen, it just turns on one of these solenoids. And, al and also the master. And also the master on. valve. So one solenoid at a time will run based on an irrigation controller uh, that just sends an electrical current to turn on a solenoid. And that's... So you're on off. How you're controlling is a, a, some type of a time clock irrigation controller connected to your solenoids that allow that fertilizer solution to flow. That's right. It's just a, a straight ahead irrigation controller that we set the irrigation start time, stop time, and the interval um, that the irrigation is, is on. Okay. So you mentioned on the injector board that the injectors function just by water flow. They don't need electrical power or anything like that. So That's right. As soon as, as a valve is open, the water starts flowing and that begins driving the, the piston uh, in the in the injector. So that powers it. It powers so it. So this is where you're really controlling with the clock and with the solenoids, your irrigation timing and frequency and that type thing. That's correct. So this is this is the whole thing that um, determines when irrigation runs and when the injectors inject. And how long? And how long. So we come through our fertilizer solution. These are opened and let's say we we have the different feed lines. So these are then the lines that are taking that to the crop. They're, they're heading off to the plants themselves, yes. Okay. And then we'll continue in the next video as we fo continue to follow sort of the track of this fertilizer solution, what happens when it actually gets out to the plant and then how we actually feed this fertilizer solution to the substrate and onto the crop.